Today I'm going to discuss about this beautiful looking indoor plant that you see on your screen. It is known as emerald tree. The most common name is China doll plant. It is also known as serpent tree and it is also known as Radamachera plant as well. Now a lot of names but let's get straight to the point. One of those plants that you can keep inside your house if you are an indoor plant lover because of the green color that it has. A lot of green leaves it will give and when a plant has a lot of green leaves the simple technique is the more number of green leaves you have the more oxygen will be generated by the plant. So I always prefer having a lot of plants which have a lot of leaves in them and that is the reason this is a good indoor plant. You can also keep this plant outside if you want but it has to be in complete shade where it is receiving a lot of bright indirect light. The reason I wanted to discuss this plant is and I also wanted to do a few things and want to show that what are those few things that I always make sure whenever I have time and I'm having a look at my plant what are those things that I always want to make sure that it is okay with the plant. So the first thing is if you look at this plant it is not straight it is a bit tilted. So my plan is to just put a stick and tie it so that this plant gets a support because I want this plant to be straight. So I will be doing that today. I just took one branch of lemon tree that I have and just tying this with the main branch because I want to give this plant support because it's very windy these days. And if I don't do this, high chances that it will break. So if you have a look now, my plant looks a little straight and it has got that support, that strength and the plants will need it, especially if they are tilted because if it gets any time very windy, these branches are the first ones to break and in this plant as you can see there are only two main branches so if even if one of them breaks the entire look of the plant will be spoiled and i absolutely don't want that so i wanted to do this thing as a first thing for this plant second thing is whenever i have a look at my plant i always want to make sure that i have a look at the leaf the branches of the plant is there any pest uh, attack if not that's great is there any dead leaf or any yellow or brown leaf like over here I can see there is one I will immediately take off any yellow brown leaf of the plant and I absolutely do not want it in my plant the next thing that I will see is the soil is there any pest attack on the soil so if there is no pest attack that's absolutely fine if there is any pest attack you have to spray some insecticide which is organic obviously and also what I do is I'll do a little bit of digging on the soil because it makes it easy for the air to just get inside the soil towards the roots. And if you do not dig the soil in the pots, in the containers, the soil will be very tight and it gets very difficult for the air to just get inside towards the roots. So that is one thing you can do once in a month or once in two months. That's more than enough. Few care tips that I want to discuss regarding this China doll plant is that number one is obviously it does not like direct sun at all so either you keep it inside your house but if you are keeping it inside your house you have to make sure that you are keeping it in a place where it is receiving that bright light not the direct one but the indirect light a bright spot I would say and it is best to give it a humidity tray or to keep it in a place where it is humid and not dry if you are keeping this plant outside obviously you will keep it in shade but again a bright spot where it is surrounded by plants or grass or any tree or any place which is a little humid because if this plant is kept in a dry place where it is getting dry air on it or a dry wind I would say then the leaves will start falling they will start turning yellow they will get crispy and they will fall and you will not love this plant anymore another key important feature that I would love to cover is watering these plants they do not love a lot of water yes humidity is a good thing for them but not a lot of water so you have to make sure that whenever you try to water this plant the first thing you will do is you have to check your soil and if it is dry only then you will water if your soil is moist or wet, absolutely do not water this plant because immediately the roots will start rotting up and this plant will die. If it is raining at your place, sometimes it is good to keep this plant in rain so that the leaves are washed away. Uh, if there is any smallest of the pest that is washed away, it will automatically give that humidity to the plant for sure. But if it is not raining, that's fine. You can sometimes spray and clean it give it that humidity you can wipe it i personally would not prefer wiping this plant because the leaves are small and there are so many leaves it becomes difficult for wiping it 
I would rather prefer to keep it in rain if it is raining or if it is inside the house I might give it a shower or spray and I would keep this plant clean because as I mentioned that it has a lot of leaves when you keep the leaves clean what happens is it becomes very easy for the plant to breathe and also to give out oxygen in abundance so keeping the leaves clean would definitely give a very good health to your plant the next thing is definitely these plants i would prefer them potting them in a container or a pot over keeping them inside the ground uh, and if you are keeping it in a container or a pot you have to make sure that like many other plants this uh, plant also gets a well drained soil so you have to make a soil which is not extremely rich or clay it has it can have a little bit of compost which is fine but normal potting mix with a lot of aeration that you can add using you know stones or anything that you want pebbles uh, perlite vermiculite add these things make the soil a little bit you know loose i would say also add a little bit of organic compost you if you want that will give nutrition to this plant and that's more than enough you do not need to add a lot of fertilizer every now and then uh, and this plant loves growing when it is warm and humid so whenever it is warm and humid at your place especially towards spring or summer you can fertilize this plant using liquid fertilizer and that to once in a month please do not fertilize more than once in a month once in a month is more than enough using liquid fertilizers like seaweed fertilizer that's what i use but if you do not like using liquid fertilizers you can use cow manure or organic compost any such things and you can add it and if you're adding solid fertilizer like organic compost then if you add it once you do not need to worry for next 3 months because it's a slow releasing fertilizer this plant loves the temperature between 20 to 29 degrees celsius so if it is very cold at your place let's say if it is below 15 degrees celsius it's very windy you can always bring this plant inside your house and keep it warm and humid similarly if it is hotter than 30 degrees celsius over here i'm just uh, i'll just clarify that i'm talking about degrees celsius and not fahrenheit so if it is more than 30 degrees celsius at your place again it is best to keep this plant inside the house like in australia when it gets hot in summers it goes more than 30 up to 40 it goes and those days i never keep the plant outside because it's very dry and the, this plant will easily die if it is kept in very hot and dry place i will that time keep it inside the house but now it's cold it's you know humid so i will keep it outside because it's raining and all that so you have to decide that what is the season going on what is the temperature at your place and accordingly you should shift this plant and that's the reason i said that it is best to plant this plant in a container and not to plant it in the ground very rare chances that this plant might get pest attack but if it does then you can wash this plant with a uh, soapy water in the evening time after the sun sets or if you are using any particular organic insecticide which is available in your nearest garden center even that is fine normally what i do is if i see any pest the first remedy i would do is i would take water add some dishwashing liquid or detol in it and little bit of hand sanitizer i would say mix it well spray it properly on the plant in the evening time after the sun sets and next morning i will spray clean water on the plant if that helps your plant that's the best thing to do you do not need to use any insecticide but even if that is not working for the plant then the next thing i would do is i would go to the nearest garden center i would buy an organic insecticide i would see read what's the proportion written compared with water and then i would spray this plant on this plant or any plant again in the evening time and then make sure that whenever you spray any insecticide in the evening time the next morning you clean the plant with clean water because if you do not do that and if a lot of insecticide is on the plant it is a kind of obstacle for the plant and the plant is not able to prepare good food during the day time the process of photosynthesis is not able to happen in the day time and the health of the plant is affected so you have to make sure you clean your plant the next morning it is easy to grow this plant and make it bushy you can always chop it whenever you will chop this plant you can see that immediately two branches will come out from the place wherever you have chopped it from so if you have that heart where you can chop this plant sometimes people don't like to chop their plant and i completely understand that that's perfectly fine but i did chop 
one of the branches and I can see that not only the I mean there are three branches coming from that one cutting so sometimes it is good to have that tough heart it just makes your plant bushy one very important thing uh, regarding China doll plant is this plant likes to be root bound now what is the meaning of root bound root bound means if you see that the roots are little bit visible from the bottom part of the pot don't get scared and don't immediately repot this plant this plant will not die because it is planted in a small place if you have got this plant in a decent size container i would suggest not to repot it at least for next two years because this plant will never die because you're not repotting it or not shifting it to a new pot if you want you can change the soil i mean you just remove the top one one and a half inch of soil and give it a fresh compost or fresh manure that is fine but please do not repot or change the setting of this plant every now and then because change is something that this plant doesn't like a lot so i have decided a spot for this plant and it's always been there and it's doing magic and i love this plant but i have also studied regarding this plant that the more changes it goes through it gets under stress and it starts dropping the leaves the last point that i want to discuss is that this plant is absolutely non-toxic so you can definitely keep it inside your house or wherever you want even if you have pets dogs cats or even if you have children kids babies so do not worry this plant is not going to harm anyone so it's absolutely safe to keep it inside your house and also it does bloom it has white flowers which do smell uh, good but this plant will not flower mostly if it is kept inside the house it does flower a lot in spring and summer when it is kept outside so if you want to see flowers in them you have to decide where you want to keep it i normally am not a very big fan of flowers of china doll because the leaves the greenery that this plant has is way more uh, better than the flowers that it uh, you know produces so i am the fan of its greenery and i love to keep it in a inside my house when it's warm or hot out there and i'm not after the flowers of this plant but you can decide it for yourself and it was lovely sharing about china doll plant with you all please do get this plant because it will give a lot of oxygen inside your house and it looks very good green and you know it gives that green color that you need because of plants inside your life in your life i mean and uh, yeah i'll see you next time in the next video uh, with another plant or any other tip regarding gardening stay safe do a lot of gardening and see you next time bye bye